guys how are we doing today all right so today we'll be performing some tests on fuel pumps of various vehicles to see whether they are working or not i've been asked a lot about it so uh, the first thing is there are two different sets of fuel pumps available in the market the first one are external fuel pumps they are mounted outside the fuel tanks and the other one are internal fuel pumps okay they are mounted inside the fuel tank they are completely submerged inside okay so uh, this one i've got it from aliexpress.com it's a chinese fuel pump not a very good quality but we'll test it as you can see there are two wires negative and positive simple plug and play and you can see a flow symbol so that means this end goes into your fuel tank and this end goes into your fuel injector so this one belongs to a car and uh, i've got another fuel pump this one is also an external fuel pump and uh, this one belonged to a motorcycle that i previously owned named Chrisma zmr and we'll test it as well okay so let's talk about internal fuel pumps okay uh, this fuel tank belongs to ktm rc390 and uh, this one's got internal fuel pump okay okay so let me just show you uh, right beneath it as you can see this thing right over here this one is fuel filter and uh, the fuel pump is bolted right across this thing as you can see there's a small motor inside and it's completely submerged inside the petrol okay so what we're going to do is we're going to perform a test to see whether this fuel pump is working or not so as you can see on this end we've got a four pin connector all right so as you can see there are four pins inside this connector the bottom ones are for fuel pump supply and the upper ones are for fuel level sensor indicator okay so um, as you can see we are only interested in the red one and the yellow and black one okay so what we're going to do is we are going to apply a 12 volt potential across these two points and we'll see if the fuel pump runs okay so for that you're gonna need a 12 volt battery over here I've got I've already got the wires so you might want to put these thimbles over the wire to make sure there are no short circuits okay we don't want any sparks okay so on the other end as you can see this black pipe over here it goes right into your fuel injector okay so what I've done is I've used a piece of uh, plastic and I've extended it and put a transparent tube and it, that tube goes right into the fuel tank okay so what we're going to do is we're going to apply 12 volt potential across these points and the fuel pump is gonna run okay so let's get started shall we all right so the first thing first we are working with gasoline over here so make sure there are no sparks okay so first we're going to apply red one to red one okay so you might want to use this cover it up okay we don't want any sparks okay as you can see this one is covered okay so let's bring out the negative one so as soon as you apply the potential the fuel pump should be running and you should hear a noise like this okay so the fuel pump is running as you can see going right inside okay so you might want to run it for the next 5 to 10 minutes for your own satisfaction so the thing we are looking for is any abnormalities like in sound or if the fuel pump is missing or if you are getting bubbles inside if you are getting bubbles inside this tube that means there is some leakage in your fuel line and uh, air is getting into the fuel pump somehow okay we don't want that okay so you might want to run it for the next 5 to 10 minutes okay so you might want to keep checking the pressure this one is a single cylinder motorcycle so the pressure is not that high you also might want to listen to the noise of this fuel pump to make sure it's continuously running and uh, it shouldn't shut down at any point because if it like, turns off at any single point that means your vehicle is gonna miss as well okay so that's about this is how you check internal fuel pumps okay so this is the setup you can see this is the potential we have applied over here and this is the battery okay and this is more it this submerged fuel pumps are uh, widely used in vehicles because they are highly efficient and uh, they are uh, more reliable than external fuel pumps okay so that's all about the internal fuel pumps let's check this external fuel pump okay we're going to do a similar setup okay so as you can see the flow so we're going to put this end into this fuel tank and the another end into back into the pipe okay so let's okay so this one is an external fuel pump as you can see so what we're going to do is we are going to apply 12 volt potential over this end and uh, i've already mounted the pipe over this end so what we're going to do is as you can see the flow symbol so that means when you apply 12 volt potential over this end 
the fuel flow is gonna be in this direction so this end we're gonna dip inside the fuel tank and it's gonna start spitting out the fuel from this end okay so let's just get started shall we okay so we're going to dip this end into the fuel tank and we're going to apply potential across these two points and you might wanna point this thing towards the fuel tank okay so let me just get the wires Okay, so the red ones are connected. Okay, so I've got a 12 volt potential over here from same battery source. So as soon as I apply this potential, the fuel pump should be running. Okay, if it doesn't run or if it misses, that means it's fried. Okay, so let's see, shall we? Well, like I said before, this one is not a very good quality fuel pump. As you can see, it sounds it sounds like a freaking generator. What the fuck? <laughs> so, yep. So chances are when a fuel pump runs like this, it's a poor quality, and your chances are you're gonna end up forming bubbles inside. Okay, we don't want that. But you know, this one works just fine, as you can see. It's spitting out the fuel just fine. But you can't use it in motorcycles, as you can see. This one's completely gonna ruin your fuel injector. The pressure is high because this one is using cars. So this is the test you can do on external fuel pumps. You see, you see, these bubbles are forming up. We don't want that. Okay. Because the inside of this motor, you know, it should be completely isolated from the air. Okay. Because chances are, uh, this is a carbon brushed motor inside, and uh, you see there's another bubble. So let's just dip a little bit more. Okay, that's enough. Alright, so this is the test you can perform on external fuel pumps and uh, make sure to keep the wires isolated so there are no sparks. Okay, now this one had some problems because uh, it's a Chinese fuel pump, you can't use it. I mean, it's a ghetto fuel pump, so it's not very reliable. And uh, we've got another fuel pump. This one is completely ruined, it won't work at all. I've seen it, I performed test previously. So, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so same 12 volt potential, as you can see. So, this fuel pump is completely ruined, as you can see, I'm applying the potential. But this fuel pump is not working. They're just sparks. So as you can see, this fuel pump is completely ruined. So this is a condition of a faulty fuel pump. As you can see, it won't run. This one belongs to some Canon brand. This is a Japanese brand. Okay, let me just. Okay, so this is the symptoms of a uh, faulty fuel pump as you can see I'm applying the potential but there's nothing no response from the fuel pump okay so you can perform the similar test on this one as well uh, when potential is applied it's gonna start spitting fuel out of this end okay this end goes into your fuel injector so as you can see this one is completely fried you know, last week I opened this up completely and uh, the carbon brushes are ruined you know, I'm unable to find the new parts for this fuel pump so you can see this one is completely ruined so this is how you test fuel pumps okay uh, I mean uh, these kind of components you know they don't fry very easily so uh, you might want to check your fuel pump really first okay so uh, because uh, I've received many queries you know where to buy these fuel pumps and all that okay so the first thing you need to understand is uh, the reason these things fry is because uh, that's because you let your vehicles run out of fuel okay the car there are carbon brushes inside this fuel pump okay there's a motor okay so that fuel acts as a lubricant so when you are letting your vehicle cranking up in without any fuel inside the fuel pump the carbon brushes are spinning freely no lubrication so that leads to wear and tear okay that was all about uh, testing your fuel pumps you know these things don't fry that easily they are supposed to run forever so make sure uh, to check for any blown fuses or uh, any blown relays or poor connections because 90% of the times there are loose connections okay so make sure there are no loose connections I mean these things are supposed to be forever 
so uh, but still if you got yourself a faulty fuel pump make sure to get a new one or if you can open this up you know replace the motor inside that's very good for you and uh, you know these things are bloody expensive you know the company earns a lot from it okay so that was all about uh, fuel pumps and uh, if you don't know how to check your fuel injector, I'll put a link in the description and you might want to check that, okay? How to perform a test on your fuel injector. So, okay. So, that was all about fuel pumps, okay? And how to perform tests, whether they're working or not. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.